Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to the finale. I cannot believe we're here. <laughs> um, I'm in love with the villainess. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It is a sad, sad day. Oh my god. They're not even going to acknowledge each other. Hmm. Damn. That hurt my heart. Oh my god. No. My babies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought I had something on my face. I was like, my. <laughs> um. Maybe. Mm -hmm. You're the only one who can, since... I mean, she is right, though. Oh, ma'am. She's right. But she's right. You want to be with her? You don't even know unless you try.
Well, I, and you know, I didn't think she was the type, but I, oh my God. Girl, how the hell you gonna offer yourself up like that willingly? Hold up, now. Hold up. I mean, ma'am. Wait. Right? You're not choosing between the two, so they're both just like, fuck it, we just do it ourselves. All she was doing right now is just holding her skills. <laughs> Got a job to do, babe. I mean, in a way, babe, you kind of need to say screw that rule and just use it. Well, you know, that's not good. <laughs> My heart, oh my god, it hurts.
Baby, that's a lie. That's a load of bull. <laughs> well, of course, duh. Yes, there is. You, you care about her. If you didn't, you wouldn't be doing or, you know, being upset on what she is doing right now. That's the thing. And possibly your girlfriend? Nah. Oh. So, what'd you find? What is it? A stick? Uh, okay. I'm a little scared right now. Just wait, wait. You brought a whole damn tree? Uh, 
that's what she's giving her. Her eternal love. Oh. Oh my god. That's so sweet. I'm so done. Yeah, I just realized what you just said. <laughs> okay so final thoughts on this even though we are not done the fact is that it took a cute little contest but no can we just talk about the fact because the whole time you're telling me Manoya was falling for Ray and doing all this ish to Claire to hype up Ray what the heck oh my god but it makes no sense but still Learning more about Manoria was like really interesting. I, you know, didn't think she was the type of girl who would be like, um, you know, that temptation and such and being in love with someone and trying to resist, but you got to a point that you can't resist and you want to have them for your own and came on to these, uh, this other chick. And now I kind of seriously want to see like a side story explaining more on that and such but the fact is this girl went to brothels and everything girl and she wasn't satisfied oh my god hold up shit like damn i wasn't expect. i don't think any of us was expecting that unless you read the series that's all i'm gonna say about that but really final thoughts on this this was a really good series this was a different type of yuri that i really enjoyed a lot like this was too freaking adorable i'm loving you know, once again, the villainous errors, those are like, it, it's okay. Even though it is isekai, it's like my, my, my comfort. I love watching villainous shows so freaking much. And it's just so good. Oh, damn. God, look how pretty she looks. I date her. Girl.
Right? Right? I mean, but hey, she was good as a bad guy, though. I mean, y'all are dating now, right? Y'all girlfriends, right? Yeah. Oh. That's typical. Okay, I will say one more. Oh, nope, we're not done yet. Bye. This was so fucking cute. I'm sorry. This was a damn good show. Like, Jesus Christ. Um, but the fact is that she was also keeping secrets and everything because, you know, trying to get the death flags and, you know, the bad ending of where Claire dies, which is the typical villainous isekai type shows where if insert A character does not do this, mm, bad ending and die. And so, of course, we're trying to do so many things to you know, move away from that ending. It's like the butterfly effect. In, in, in some way, shape, or form, you do something and you're slowly but surely avoiding that bad ending regardless and stuff. Now, I I'm gonna say this. Like, yes, th this show has, like, done a lot for a lot of people. I love the fact that, like, what, we, what we've seen in the last couple of weeks with this show or throughout this show, you're with Ray specifically on her, her and I think, um... Not Claire, but the other girl. Um, when they were talking about, like, at first, like, oh, but two girls shouldn't be together and stuff. Like, dude, it is 2023. 20, we are about to be in 24 in less than, like, what, two fucking weeks? It shouldn't matter if someone wants to be with someone, whether it's a guy or a girl, whatever. You be with whoever the fuck you want to be. You want to be with a girl? That's fine. You want to be with a guy? That's fine, too. Whoever you want to be with, be with them. Don't, it, like, to me, in my opinion, like, I, as someone who 
is I'm, I'm 100% straight like I can have like I like having girl crushes on some girls and ish like that but I know at the end of the day like I'm still gonna be with the guy and such now yes we've talked about the fact that I've had several girl crushes for so many freaking, freaking anime characters and such like yeah I have a crush on um Manaria because she's interesting not only because she's not a Mizuki like that's like the second third thing but uh, not a Mizuki freaking of course duh it's not a Mizuki for Christ's sake it, that's a goddess we love her regardless because that's not a freaking Mizuki. Like, how do you not like Nana Mizuki? Oh my god, she's amazing. So, psh, duh, you automatically have to love her. She can do no wrong. Like, she's amazing and such. And anything that she does, fucking brilliant. Love her. Um, but going on to her again, loving the fact that she played like this. It, like uh, she played both sides. She played a good guy and a bad guy at the same time, and I loved it. I love how she did it. She was flip-flopping, like, every single time. Like, one minute you wanted to roof her, and next minute you wanted to freaking hate her. But that's good. That's good. Like, yes. But as I said, like, as a as a woman who is strictly dickly and such, having, like, girl crushes on, on girls and stuff, there's nothing wrong with that. My biggest thing is, like, I even told my friends in high school, when I was in high school all those years ago, was, yes, I'm still straight and stuff. I've had, <laughs> in the weirdest ways, I've had, um... I remember I, there was this one girl I knew in high school where she came on to me and it took me like a moment just to figure it out and I was like okay hey we gotta talk about this real quick. I was like I understand that you do have these feelings about me but I just don't run that way and such and she she was a little taken back about it and I was like I'm sorry but we could just be friends and so I still kept her close to me and such but I would say like our friendship kind of changed a little bit over because of the fact is that I wasn't really into her like that. And that's okay. I, I would I even told her I was like, whoever you go after next, I'm still gonna be your biggest supporter and such. It's just I don't run that way. That's just me. I, I can't mm -mm. it's not me. I, I mm, it's not Daijo Boo up in here. I, I'm <laughs> dickly. <laughs> I'm just saying. But still there is nothing wrong with who you wanna be with, guy, girl, whoever. You go be with them. Don't, it doesn't matter what your parents say. It doesn't matter what your friends say. Anything, anyone, whatever someone tells you saying that it's wrong, if you have those feelings about that person, you go for it. Even if they're going to end up rejecting you, you take it as a healing point and a journey. It, it's a journey. Like, trust me, we've all been dumped by someone before or we've expressed our feelings towards someone and in the end it doesn't work out and you go home you cry I, I did it too like god um I remember and I kind of I still think about this like now or I have this mindset kind of now like when I was in high school um I thought no one was ever really going to like me and such and now after having mm, I will say like three boyfriend well no one mm, I'll say two too. The third one really, in my opinion, does not count. He was like a... Eh. <laughs> um, so, two boyfriends and stuff. And really seeing myself, like, grow through those relationships. And as I've talked before about one of them specifically, um, with him, like I said, I saw, I just, I saw everything with him. Um, and I think if he would have moved here, oh God, that would have been like World War Three <laughs> between him and my mom. But my mom and I have like, at first I was very, I don't want to talk about the breaking up with him, but I think when I got a little more comfortable talking about it and such, and not only my mom, but my friends and everything, it showed me like a different side and stuff. And so I, like if I ever have a relationship with someone online again, I know to their steps and such. I, I'm, a, I'm like the type of person who loves to talk every single day. He, he loved that too. But I think because we were so busy and to the things that we were doing, me with YouTube, him and military and stuff, um, we only really had time for each other like at nighttime. And you know, he's tired, I'm tired, and I'm trying to get stuff done and stuff like that. But um, I'll say this long, long story short, he ghosted me. And like I said, that was like the, I felt like in that moment, I could never love again and I still kind of feel like that now um but at the same time I've learned that self-love is the best love and such and to always be or have friends and families that are very close to you and stuff and you're able to talk that shit out and stuff because the weirdest thing was I literally 
it was like a while, I think a year ago, um, I was on my Snapchat and of course something with me and him popped up and I instantly like broke down to tears and stuff and it was like the worst thing and I was like I don't want to cry over him but yeah he could have been everything and, and so like I, I always will say now like oh my god where the freak is the guy that is supposed to be there for me. Once again he's out there. I don't know what the fuck he doing but he out there. And maybe even possibly, and I hate to say it, maybe there isn't anybody out there for me and stuff. And honestly, I think even now as the age that I am at, I am okay with that. Um, I just, I dislike when people come up to me and say like, oh my God, like you should be in a relationship or oh my God, you should be married right now. And I'm like, I can't be my bad bitch era. <laughs> and, and that's what I am. I, I'm literally the the single just independent person and just trying to do my own thing and such like yeah love is sweet love is nice and stuff i, I hate you know seeing couples uh, not all couples just some couples um too gooey and i'm just like yeah <laughs> but that's also the one thing i love about romance anime is because i'm like i'm a hopeless romantic bitch secretly even though like i'm over here like <laughs> I'm like, mm -mm, no, no, I don't, mm -mm, no, no, <laughs> fuck guys. <laughs> but yes, even till now, I still want to find love. And you know, for all of us, it's out there. You never know who it's going to be with. So always leave your heart open. But yeah, this was a damn good series. I will definitely miss it a lot. I would love for a second season. Um, If it is a second season there, I would love to see characters who, you know, had to leave the show for insert reasons and you know they come back and such but i don't think of course like our previous maid she will never we will probably never see her again um <laughs> Mataria, we will definitely probably see her again so if we're not in music if we ever get a season two but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards the entirety of I'm in love with the villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all. Well, of course not Monday. Because Christmas, duh. Um, I will probably see you guys sometime either later on this week for probably the last of my shows. Um, maybe next week if I have something planned. I don't really know. I just know I gotta do Sugar Apple before Friday. Um, and the start of my Patreon series and stuff, because I got to do that this week too. But also, of course, the start for winter anime, when that eventually comes, I should have the list up sometime this week, maybe next week. I don't know. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.